Uh, DC and Warner Brothers, you guys know that it's actually okay that you can fight back with your superhero games, right? Well, at least I hope you do, but regardless, welcome back, true believers and all you merry Marvelites to another very exciting Marvel Games-related video with a brand new announcement that has seemingly come out of nowhere. And pretty much in the last five years plus at this point, it has been a damn good time to be a fan of Marvel video games. Of course, taking into consideration the Insomniac Spider-Man franchise, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel's Midnight Suns, and even the upcoming Marvel games that we currently know about, like Marvel's Wolverine, Marvel's Iron Man, Marvel's Black Panther, Marvel 1943, and a bunch of other games that we don't even officially know are currently in their production pipeline as it stands right now. But with all that said, Marvel games has something for everyone, which is awesome that a plethora of gamers, no matter what type of genre that you like the most or which character that you like the most, you can always find something that really gels with you. And actual stories and narratives as well as gameplay mechanics that not only fit the characters, but also for the player that wants to immerse themselves in feeling like that they are that character. And I say all that to pretty much say that this game is a huge unexpected turn of events for me personally, but also for the superhero genre, I would say, as a whole. So if you are unaware, we do have a brand new Marvel game announcement coming from NetEase Games, who, if you don't know, are mainly, I would say, focused on lesser known titles, but also they've done a lot of mobile games, which does kind of give a kind of red flag at first, but there have been quite a lot of rumors surrounding what exactly this game is, and if they are actually able to pull it off well, this could definitely be a very engaging live service Marvel game with elements that could benefit what the game actually stands for and what the genre of it is. So right now we have a brand new trailer announcement for Marvel Rivals, where the trailer description states, introducing Marvel Rivals, the premier superhero team up based PVP shooter. Assemble your favorite Marvel characters and engage in 6v6 battles utilizing brand new team-up skills in destructible locations from across the Marvel multiverse. And a closed alpha test is coming this May. So definitely make sure to sign up for that now if you actually want to dive into the game by the time that the alpha releases this May. But I do find it very intriguing that it's pretty much shaping up to be Marvel's Overwatch. I haven't seen the trailer yet, but everything that we've kind of heard about rumblings for this game, it's definitely like if Marvel meant Overwatch. And me personally, I have not played Overwatch, but I am a fan of certain first-person shooters like that of the Titanfall series, and I've also played certain Call of Duties here and there, but I'm mainly a more third-person action-adventure oriented gamer. And crazily enough, that is exactly what this type of game is shaping up to be. So they're taking elements that people like from Overwatch, but they're also incorporating it with the more Marvel-based genre that gamers have kind of been exposed to for the better part of the last five years plus, even past decade if you count older Marvel games. But that core third-person action-adventure-based experience is what most superhero gamers, I would say, are used to. And incorporating that into an Overwatch-style shooter is definitely going to be very interesting. But I do want to check all this out for myself within this new trailer. And there is an article from Marvel Games themselves, which does break down a lot of details pertaining to what this game is. So we do have this trailer right here, a little over two minutes. That's totally fine. I'm very excited. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't seen anything, but I'm very curious. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay. Nettie's games. Asgard. Already Overwatch style. Okay, interesting character designs. Spidey, Black Panther. Okay. Ooh! Oh, okay! Can transform into Hulk? This definitely Overwatch meets Marvel. I think that was Josh Keaton as Iron Man. Cool. Armor looks pretty sick. Okay, Spider-Man. Interesting. Doctor Strange portals. Was that Yuri? I think it was. It cool. 
it definitely has the massive Overwatch style that I was expecting from this. Okay. Magic. I think that was Laura Bailey. Rocket Raccoon. An OG looking Guardians of the Galaxy outfit. Groot 2. Okay. Is that Penny Parker? Okay. Hulk, Doctor Strange. That almost looked like the incredibly awesome Hulk. Uh, Magic, Groot. Okay, all the Marvel characters. Black Panther. There he is. Yeah, that was definitely Yuri. Lady Galactus. All right. Star looks pretty cool. Storm. Hmm. Sign up now. Closed alpha begins May. No release date, no consoles either. Interesting. Well, yeah, this was definitely like a straight up teaser trailer for what the game looks like and what we can expect from a game like this. Again, Overwatch meets Marvel. But there is a lot to kind of expect with that premise already incorporated into the gameplay bits we saw there into a full-fledged AAA release. Now, will this be a game that I'm personally beyond hype for? For me personally, not as it stands right now, but I'm very curious to learn more and exactly how those gameplay mechanic bits we saw with choosing your Marvel character, uh, 6v6 players uh, interacting in like team deathmatch style environments. Um, it also mentioned something about destructible environments in the trailer description. Uh, so very cool, very interesting, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what exactly the rest of this entails. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is an article that Marvel released where they do fully break down all the information pertaining to Marvel Rivals, and a lot of it is pretty much what I already summarized, where there is going to be a lot of elements that we have expected from a game like Overwatch, and incorporating that into a fully Marvel-centric experience, like that of destructive environments, new characters, different locations to explore, team-up abilities, and all this cool stuff, which you should definitely check out in the link in the description if you want to read the entire article for yourself. But the main two I want to talk about is at the very bottom of the article, where it does state, continually evolving universe and robust post-launch updates. The Marvel Multiverse brings infinite possibilities, each seasonal drop will introduce new superheroes to the battlefield along with challenging and diverse maps. Unlock new content to implement across various gameplay strategies while experiencing thrilling action and endless possibilities in these adventurous team battles. And the other one is at the very bottom where it states, Marvel Rivals features a storyline crafted by the NetEase writing team where the merciless clash between the tyrannical dictator Doctor Doom and his future counterpart from the year 2099 has forced countless universes to collide in the time stream entanglement, creating new worlds and crises still unknown. Now, Superheroes and supervillains from across the multiverse must fight together and against one another as disparate groups seek to defeat both dooms before one achieves domination of these realities. Familiar faces become newfound foes while former enemies become the greatest of allies in Marvel Rivals. So there's definitely a lot to pick apart here. A lot of things definitely give me the inclination or vibe that a lot of what you have expected from games like Overwatch or Battleborn or Apex Legends even is now going to be incorporated into a fully Marvel-based experience, playing with characters like Iron Man, Hulk, uh, Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Spider-Man, Black Panther, all these mainstay Marvel characters that we all know and love, but incorporating them into a very interesting genre of game with a PvP third-person shooter. Now, of course, with the confirmation of live service elements. Now, based on those games already existing, like I mentioned, like Overwatch and Apex Legends, I'm not too crazy about games like those, so maybe this game isn't just made for me, but my point at the very beginning of the video still stands is that Marvel Games is making something for everyone, which I find is the very cool thing about what they're doing with all these games and their partnerships with studios like Insomniac, what they did with Square Enix, now doing it with EA for the upcoming Iron Man and uh, Black Panther game, Skydance New Media, uh, Blade with Arcane Leon, and now NetEase doing a 
Overwatch style Marvel game. It is the renaissance right now, I feel like, of Marvel games. And it just shocks me that DC in comparison is just doing nothing. We have Suicide Squad, that was a flop. Gotham Knights came out, that came and went. And Wonder Woman is the only thing that I can think of that I'm personally very excited for, but that's it. Meanwhile, Marvel has all this stuff in their pipeline, and even if you're not excited for this, the very fact that a game like this is being made in the first place, I think is a huge achievement in and of itself. It's definitely going to have a very specific audience of people that will be engaged into a game like this, but the fact that it will engage at least one person into a genre different experience like this is still a very, very interesting thing to see how it will be played out, and at least the amount of creativity that they're pouring into things like the character designs and those environments definitely gave me the vibe that they care about what they're making. It's not just a cash grab, it definitely seems like a passion project for these developers. But as for how exactly the game will fare once we see more of it, once the uh, alpha test comes out in May, that is still yet to be determined, but I'm definitely curious to learn more. But with all that said, everybody, that is the video that I have for all you today about the newly announced Marvel Rivals. What do you think? Are you excited? Are you skeptical? Do you think it looks like trash? Do you think it looks like game of the year material? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Definitely make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and for more Marvel games videos like this and for more of my Marvel games opinions because I love talking about all these games. But until we receive even more news about any of these upcoming projects, thank you all so much for watching. Stay merry Marvelites and until next time, peace out.